One favorite thing as a bus enthusiast in Singapore is to settle the public bus routes. From an interesting landmark to the history, to its own uniqueness of certain bus services. While some bus services have a similarity, we will showcase them into a topic. If you like to adventure on public bus routes and get to know the history like me, you're in the right place. Welcome to Discovery Buses in Singapore. In this episode of Discovery Buses in Singapore, DMN showcase three bus terminals that are not for boarding and alighting. Special thanks to Dagon on our Discord server for suggesting this episode is possible. However, three exactly bus terminals are not for passengers' activities. Where are the three bus terminals? The first stop in the south is Minor Center. It opened in 1986 after several developments around the area. It was then moved into a better bus terminal in 2021 to facilitate a proper parking lot, toilets, and canteen for meal breaks. The new bus terminal replaces the growth site and expansion bus slots. It used to be a heaven site for night buses until it was suspended in 2022 to COVID-19, then withdrawn two years later. The Alati Point is at Pan Pacific Hotel and the boarding point is located at the Singapore Flyer. During such events as the National Day and F1 Racing, Minor Center will be closed and all bus services will divert or even loop at the respective alternate areas. Next stop in the southwest, Bona Vista. After it was replaced with Commonwealth Avenue Bus Terminal, the Bona Vista bus service is home to bus services in the metropolis area and the majority headed to the southern and eastern side of Singapore. Service 34 and 105 are the only bus services towards Dover. There is one bus stop for alighting, Bona Vista CC, for all bus services. However, there are two bus stops for boarding, Block 10A for those bus services heading to Holland Village and Dover Metropolis, and Block 43 for bus services towards Commonwealth. Last stop in the northwest, Kalibatu. Open in 2020, Kalibatu Terminal was in operation as a replacement bus terminal for the now defined Bukit Panjang. Services 35 and 184 will not be able to start and end at Bukit Panjang ITH due to insufficient parking lots. However, the bus terminal is closed to the public even though the design has plenty of passenger facilities. At least, there are plenty of parking lots just for two bus services. Rumor was told that service 974 should have ended up in Kalibatu by Senja and a suggestion to amend service 170 adds. There are three bus terminals that are not open to passenger service as there aren't any passenger spotting and alighting facilities as a Gali Batu. What do you think? Should Bona Vista Terminal be upgraded? Leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching and do leave a like, comment and subscribe.